Hey gamers, happy Easter. We're going to get into this fast because we have a lot of ground to cover. This is not a deep dive into Cord Kitty as a subject. I find him to be completely insufferable and can't find the patience to listen to him waffle any more than necessary. This video is going to be a quick introduction for you into the lies and lack of character the man possesses. If that sounds interesting to you, wonderful. If not, well, Benji will be making a video too, so my advice would be to go subscribe to him and wait for that. It'll probably be more informative in regards to his past and current actions and provide more context about Cord than this video will. This video is to discuss a podcast I went on with him to debate him, as well as discuss various claims he's made against me. And of course to mock him for being a terminally online spastic. This isn't going to be the end of things with me and Cord, but I'll save that bit for the end of this video. You'll also notice I'm doing less editing on this video and just going with gameplay in the background, and that's just because Cord isn't somebody I consider to be worth the labor of making the video as visually engaging as my other pieces. Now then, let's get into it. Cord Kitty is an internet degenerate who likes to think of himself as a celebrity, which he is not. His big claims to fame are being an extra in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, the worst Spider-Man film to hit mainstream media in the past 25 years or so, the fact that he wrote and directed a musical which was performed only a handful of times at furry conventions and the cast practically had to do so at gunpoint due to lack of interest, as well as the fact that he makes dance videos to songs that are completely irrelevant these days like Bangarang, which garners him barely any attention from his own audience, let alone the greater furry fandom. And aside from those things, he's also known for eating his feelings and talking about how evil I am. However, when he's not doing either of those things, you'll probably find him being a complete brain-dead lunatic on Twitter, deploying his children like a mobile ballistic shield to hide from the bombardment of his critics. And there are many at this point. For the purposes of this video, that's all you'll need to really understand for now. Cord may have an issue with me presenting reality this way since it's a less charitable interpretation, but I don't care very much because it's still true, even if uncharitably presented. Now Cord has been making some pretty wild claims about me, and we're going to begin the video with those. It's important to me that we front load this video with the allegations against me that he's made, and you'll see why once we move on. So Cord has been accusing me of numerous things. The first thing he's accused me of is banning him from my Discord server, because evidently that's a horrible thing to do for some reason. The second is that he accused me of suicide baiting him, which isn't exactly a great thing to do, and also not something that's happened. And the third is that I threatened to swat him and his children, which is so hilariously untrue that I'm not sure exactly how he expects anyone to believe that kind of lie. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm not even pretending to entertain these lies, and there's a pretty good reason. They're either just objectively false claims or simply him attributing the actions of others to me because he needs a reason to justify calling me evil. Right, this guy thinks I'm a mustache twirling Disney villain, by the way. He's legitimately and unironically called me evil on multiple occasions, which I think is actually pretty funny. But why don't we discuss these accusations one at a time? As for the first accusation of banning him from my Discord server, this is not only a non-starter, it's completely without any significance to any conversation whatsoever. Despite this, Cord enjoys bringing up this one because... The reasons, I guess? I, I don't know, Cord's a nutcase. Regardless, the fact of the matter is that I never actually banned Cord from my Discord server. That was one of my former moderators, and Cord is very aware of this fact considering I made him aware on Twitter directly after it happened. Now, Cord has acknowledged that he's wrong on this one in the podcast we had previously, however, it does bear noting that Cord likes to change the rules of claims like these. For example, when I said the following, well, actually what started this is that I made a snarky comment towards Cord, and then he came into Benji's server. Afterwards, he got banned because Benji didn't feel like dealing with him. His response was... So he said that Benji banned me from his, uh, his server, 
um, that's not true. Actually, it was Benji's admins after I basically talked about how um, Benji had did some defamatory statements and I was uh, considering a lawsuit. However, when I clarified that it was a former mod on my server who banned him, Cord justified saying I did it by saying... Well, importantly, you didn't lift the ban because you actually supported it completely, right? Now these, these are called double standards. In this case, it's refusal to hold both myself and Benji to equal standards in the face of identical circumstances. An interesting thing to note about this particular double standard is that it's not put in place to directly benefit him, rather indirectly. You see, when it's shown beyond a shadow of a doubt that my former moderator acted in the same fashion as Benji's mods, thus deflating his argument, as he's now in a position where he cannot be critical of me for it due to his own hand-waving of Benji's mods' actions, he's adjusted his metrics on the situation in an attempt to demonize me. Now this is not the worst accusation or the worst act of dishonesty we'll see from Cord, but it does set the stage rather well, since it shows that even in regards to trivial claims, Cord will decide to behave dishonestly when confronted with proof he's wrong. Now the second accusation to go over is Cord's claim that I suicide baited him. This claim is built solely on the actions of others and has nothing to support it outside that. I'll play a brief clip to help you understand Cord's rationale for the claim. Oh, and somebody just this asked. This is not for a complex thing to. This isn't a complex thing to ask for. You seem to have a lot of, a lot of reason to believe that I'm a suicide baiter and a swatter. So why don't you post the evidence of me ever doing those things to you? The entire purpose of Kiwi Farms is to suicide bait. It says on the Wikipedia page. So when okay, you so try you're and spout... attribute the actions of other people to me again, no, that's not true. Got it. You, you are Got attributing. It. Got it. You, Thank you. you. Got it. You are attributing... I didn't realize that I was the Lorax who spoke for the Kiwis. God. You are, <laughs> you are attributing... You are basically promoting a site whose sole purpose is to try and use complete falsehoods to try and encourage a suicide. Got it. Mob. Other people's it's actions true. are now my fault. Got it. I got yeah. it. Absolutely. Anybody who promotes this particular website, that's that's the, the idea. The idea is to try and get this big mob together and hopefully end up with uh, the target committing suicide because i mean the, the, and the here's the thing it i mean i guess the one the two good things that kiwi farms does a it's really good at archiving b it kind of promotes the idea of hey because nobody could defend everything that they did in the last 10 years um you know if everybody is more cognizant about internet privacy, they won't have to do that, you know, because right, what's going on right now is a whole bunch of cancel culture where people have to suddenly defend some joke they made 10 years ago. And that's kind of what I'm doing pretty much, like, except it's uh, not 10 years ago. It was like uh, almost five years ago. So um, the whole the whole uh, the whole culture of um, basically promoting privacy by saying hey by the way if you don't promote privacy we'll take a tweet you made 10 years ago and it'll come back to bite you i mean i guess that's a good thing but um i mean i i what i'm trying to say is i don't care if you believe me or not i'm telling you the truth and whatever it's not it's not Hard. like and, and why also, the I, why the fuck would you act like i'm suddenly in bed with kiwi farms they make fun of me just as much as anybody else when i act stupid yeah, well, they're, here's... they're nothing more than like what you would consider a source for information. You don't necessarily consider them on a game of sides. That, that I don't understand. I'd tell you I plan to fully debunk this segment, but that would imply there's anything of merit here to examine. All we have is Court attempting to attribute the actions of other people to me, which is flawed for so many reasons that I don't think I can adequately explain each of them in a quick, concise manner. This argument is on par with such lines of logic as Jill is friends with John. John is friends with some petty criminals. Therefore, Jill is friends with some petty criminals. It's just really, really stupid reasoning that when you stop to think about it for more than five seconds, it makes no fucking sense, and it just doesn't add up. Now, Cord also does claim that I tried to suicide bait him in the call in my Discord server, but he's offered absolutely no proof to back that claim up. He simply asserts it is so, and therefore it must be so. Now, if you watch the stream itself, you'll notice the only claims I made were those I had evidence to support. The reason for this is because it offers validity to what I'm accusing him of. 
Kord does none of this, and instead he opportunistically claims anything he can think and leaves it up to you to refute it, and even if you refute his claim successfully, he resorts to lying and amending his claim and values to justify demonizing whoever he dislikes. This is called moving the goalposts, and it's an incredibly dishonest and shitty thing to do. Uh, aside from that, I don't really think there's much I need to say about this point beyond what I have, so we'll move right along. Now the third thing Kord accused me of is wanting to swat him. Now there are multiple points in the stream where Kord tries to dance around the fact he factually made a claim like this, but I'm not going to be giving him the benefit of the doubt on it, and it's because of this comment right here. Coyote is, by no stretch of the imagination, a good furry. Dare I say, probably one of the most evil human beings I've ever known on any platform my entire life. In fact, the main reason I left the previous Discord conversation we had was because Coyote was talking the idea of swatting the house where my two children sleep. He explicitly encouraged other members of his Discord server to pressure me to kill myself. And just because I have no recording of this Discord call, now all of his users are calling me names. This is horrifying. I'm not saying it's horrified that I'm being teased. I'm saying it's horrifying that there's a single person who looks up to someone who is this mentally deranged. Cord may claim I never actually said the words, you threatened to swat me, but the fact is he didn't have to. He worded numerous comments like this one to lead people to a conclusion he wanted them to reach without the need to expressly say it. What Cord did was walk an accusation right up to the door, put it down, and leave it there to ensure people would reach the conclusion he desired. I'm sorry, Cord, but you don't get to claim you didn't make this accusation when the circumstances show it's what you were making a clear attempt to do. Much like the last point, there is no evidence whatsoever that corroborates this narrative, which Cord himself confirms by stating he has no recording of the call. Moreover, nobody else who was in that call has even once suggested I wanted to swat Cord, which means this is nothing short of an outright lie to damage my character. Ironic, coming from the guy who wants to sue people on the internet for attacks against his character. As much as I'd like to continue talking about Cord's claims against me, there's not much to address beyond what has been. Everything he seems to say about me is a variant of the above listed things, either attributing the actions of others to me, making claims that have no evidence behind them, or just outright lying. But you know, enough about me, Cord. Let's talk about you! Now some of you may be asking, Coyote, why did you ever bother with Cord? What was the point? In truth, it was funny. That's all there really was to it at the start of things. It looked like it was going to be really funny because he was blowing something stupid right out of proportion. I never had any plans for things to go as far as they did. But then, right there in the middle of the call in my Discord server, something amazing happened. One of my mods came forward with this. Now this is Kord's now defunct F-list, he's deleted it. Let me read a short description of what F-List is from Wikifur, and I'll just leave this on the screen for you. F-List, short for Fetish List, is a directory of characters and paraphilias associated with them for the purposes of roleplay. It allows users that are 18 or older to list multiple characters for each account, talk in groups relevant to their interests, and chat in real time through the site's chat server for the purpose of roleplay. Now, I've had Kord's F-list sitting on screen for a few moments, and some of you may have already gone ahead and done a small Where's Waldo of your own to spot why this was interesting to me. But if you haven't, let me give you a big clue about what's on this list that piqued my curiosity about Kord. It starts with a zoo and ends with a philia. Did you find it? There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now you see it. Kord had a very, very special interest in zoophilia as a fetish, and naturally his interest in such degenerate things was what really made me perk up my ears and give him my full attention. If I had to guess, and this is just a guess, mind you, I'd go out on a limb and say the reason he really wants to assassinate my character so much probably has something to do with the thought that people might actually listen to me if I exposed him for being into that. I don't know, though. That's just my own personal headcanon, take it or leave it. 
That actually leads me to another excellent point of criticism, which is the fact that Cord believes if he dislikes you, you shouldn't have a right to speak at all. This is easily confirmed by him saying, Well, I have had some pretty terrible experiences with a large group of local furries pretty recently. I've decided I don't want them to be a part of the fandom. But if that isn't enough for you, I think I can do you one better. Let me show you a snippet from the stream, one where I caught Cord dead to rights in a lie. Well, no, I, here's, here, okay, so here's a misunderstanding. You're saying that I'm mad at Coyote. I'm not mad at Coyote at all. Okay, then um, explain what I'm, false flagging him off the internet because of your spat with him. I didn't false flag him. He was sending out things that are against the TOS of Twitter, and they were targeting yeah, me, so I was like, alright. A nebulous fucking TOS like every other fucking social media. Hold on. Out here. Hold on. You said the thing that I got deplatformed for was targeting you. Is that your statement? Is that your fucking statement? Because I can prove that that is not true. Oh yeah, absolutely. Of course you're targeting okay, me. Of course. Me they, yeah, over you and know, over. No, I'm giving you, <laughs> I'm, I'm giving you one moment. I'm getting the exact tweet that I was deplatformed for, and it has nothing to do with you. I'm going to prove right now you are lying objectively. Send it. <laughs> well, it, it, it didn't say anything about uh, what the tweet was that was deplatforming you in like no, in but the you email claimed I that got. you were the source. You claimed you were the source. I, however, was given an email of what the tweet was. So that way we can see if you're full of shit or not right fucking now from Twitter themselves. One moment. Well, no, like if a bunch of people uh, report someone, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, in regards to what specific tweet you got, I, I no, don't know. No, don't backpedal. I've got you. Uh, Thank you. Cass, yeah, so I just wanted to point out that I put what I got deplatformed for from Twitter into the chat right now. Let me go read it out for you. Forward. And Cecil McFly can confirm this. Your account, Coyote Lovely YT, has been suspended for violating Twitter rules, specifically violating her rules against abuse and harassment. And let's, let's look uh, at yeah. the tweet. Let's say, just in case tweet um, yeets, not, not Cecil McFly, I want to make sure this didn't go anywhere. This is the most metal response to Salfo I have seen yet. Ha hats off to you. So, uh, so it, it's not even about you. It was I not even about you. What the fuck is this about? He was talking about Salfo drama. Now there's been a lot of interesting things presented to you in this video, and one thing I think you'll also find interesting is what it all means when you put it together. When Cord is confronted with anyone catching on to how much of a piece of shit he is, the last thing he'll do is try to actually come from a place of honesty to defuse the situation, and he certainly won't apologize for wrongdoing. Rather, Cord will lie about his actions and downplay them. He'll attempt to assassinate the character of any critics he has, and he'll try to completely remove their right to participate in the conversation by any means necessary. The saddest part? He's even willing to lie to the general public's collective face and call himself a force of good while he does it. Well, we can see Cord's not terribly happy that I still have a platform I can use to speak, and it's no secret Cord hates Kiwi Farms. I'm sure anyone who's even glanced at his Twitter knows that, which is understandable since they have a thread on him with 100 plus pages. God, that is a bit of a mess, isn't it? It looks like Cord has really shat up the thread. That's a kind of a shame since it has some good information. You know, I think I have an idea. Cord, I know you're watching, and since I have you here, I want you to be among the first to know where I'm gonna go from here. I don't think I'll be giving you more of my attention on other platforms, and I don't think I'll give you the time of day to stream again unless somebody I respect asks. Instead, since you clearly hate me having a voice, and you clearly hate Kiwi Farms, I'm going to give your thread itself a platform. I've spoken to its author, and they agree. This idea could have some true hilarity come as a byproduct. So, going forward, once a month, I'll be reading directly from your thread. It'll be a general information sort of series to help increase accessibility. Maybe it'll be mockery based on how you started shitting it up. Maybe it'll be just the information by itself, and maybe it'll be both. It's part of the fun. We get to see where it'll go depending on how I feel each month. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. My patrons are listed below, and I couldn't have made the content without your generous support. Have a happy Easter, gamers, and as for you, Cord, you can feel free to go back to eating your feelings. I'm a failure! I'm a failure! I'm a failure!